The Technische Universität Stadt Darmstadt, commonly referred to as TU Darmstadt, is a research university in the city of Darmstadt, Germany. It was founded in 1877 and received the right to award doctorates in 1899. In 1882 it was the first university in the world to set up a chair in electrical engineering. In 1883 the first faculty for electrical engineering was founded there. History on 10 October 1877 Ludwig IV, Grossherzog von Hessen und Bei Rhein, named the Polytechnic School Technische Hochschule zu Darmstadt and thereby raised the status of this educational institution to that of a university so that the Abich became the basis for admission. In 1899 the TH Darmstadt was granted the right to award doctorates. Early beginnings The university's history is varied. Its early phases began with the Hohergeubschule, which was founded in 1836 and received its own building near the Altus Padagog on Kapellplatz in 1844, followed by the Technische Schule in 1864 and the Grossherzoglich Hessische Polytechnische Schule in 1868. At that time, heated discussions were continually held in political circles on the issue as to whether such a poor state as the Grand Duchy of Hessen could afford a technically oriented higher educational institution, or even a polytechnic. After the foundation of the TH Darmstadt in 1877, student numbers kept on being so low that in the years from 1881 to 1882 there were long debates in public about closing down the university. In this difficult situation, the local government and the university made the courageous decision to set up the first chair of electrical engineering worldwide. Thus the School of Electrical Engineering came into being as the sixth faculty of the TH Darmstadt, which was a novelty in academia, because until then no other polytechnic or university had had its own faculty of electrical engineering. This forward-looking higher education policy paved the way for Darmstadt to take up a leading position in the rapidly developing field of electrical engineering, which in turn led to a continuously rising number of students, so that the closure of the TH Darmstadt never was demanded again. First steps as a university In 1895 new buildings were opened in Hochschulstrasse the Alte Hauptgebode and an institute building directly opposite. During the two decades before the World War I, all disciplines of the university underwent diversification and expansion. New disciplines such as paper making and cellulose chemistry were introduced, and as early as 1913 a chair of aeronautics and flight mechanics was set up. Meanwhile, the political climate had become stormier, and a growing political polarization exploded in Darmstadt over the question of foreign students. The TH Darmstadt had an extraordinarily large number of foreign students. In 1906, for instance, as many as three-quarters of the electrical engineering students were from abroad, mainly from states of Eastern Europe. After the World War I there was an urgent need for reform of the education system at the TH Darmstadt, which was seen as a prerequisite for meeting the requirements of a modern industrial society. Intense discussions were held on the aim of extending the curriculum beyond the purely technical education in order to prepare the engineer for his leading role in society. A concrete step in this direction was taken in 1924, when the general faculty, which until then had combined all the non-technical subjects, was divided into a Department of Mathematics and Natural Science and a Department of Cultural Studies and Political Science. Moreover, the measures taken to provide students with knowledge outside their own narrow field of study included the upgrading of economics and the creation of professorships in political science, history of technology and sociology. Restart after WW2 on the night of 11-12 September 1944, 80% of the city, including many of the university's buildings, were destroyed during a bomb attack. 
For a short period in 1945 parts of the TH Darmstadt may have been closed by decree of the Allies before it was reopened in 1946. The electrical engineering department remained continuously functional, doing work under contract with the U.S. Army to build components of the V-2 guidance system. But we have to be careful how we word this production order because we don't want the Russians to know that we are cranking up the V-2 system in spite of the difficult post-war situation. University staff and students alike managed to settle down to university work in the severely damaged buildings which had to be used as a makeshift solution. As early as 1947 the TH Darmstadt played host to the first International Congress for Ingenia Rouse Building, IKIA, at which the participants discussed the moral responsibility of the technical intelligentsia and of the scientific elite in politics and society. In view of the disastrous consequences of the war, the participants committed themselves henceforth to do research and teaching in engineering and scientific disciplines solely for the peaceful development of mankind. 1. Technical science as ethical and cultural task. 2. Present state and tendencies of development in engineering education throughout the world. 3. Selection of students and social problems. The speech delivered by Dr. James R. Newman, director of American military government of Hessen, however, made no mention of such a commitment, while stating that an interchange of these past experience, together with ideas and methods of education along engineering lines will aid greatly, not only in the reconstruction of battle-torn countries, but also in the bringing about of a universal understanding and mutual respect and the charity which have prevented the understanding, the tolerance, the respect, and the charity so necessary for the peace, happiness, and contentment that is the dream of every human being on this earth. The post-war period of Reconstruction was largely based on a major development program in the 1960s by means of which universities and the state reacted to the continuously rising numbers of students. Since almost no land was available in the city center for new construction projects, the decision was taken in 1963 to use the Lichtwiese as a site for building extensions to the TH. Thus in the late 1960s and in the early 1970s numerous buildings, including a new student cafeteria, were erected there and ultimately became the university's second campus. University reforms in the 1970s after 1968 The university reform, having been initiated by the student movement, was beginning to take shape both at a national and a regional level. It aimed at creating clear university structures and the involvement of all university members in decision-making processes. In 1970 the Hesse Chis Hochschule GZs came into force. These gave the TH Darmstadt, along with other Hessian universities and polytechnics, a new structure based on the introduction of a presidential statute and a unified administration as well as the subdivision of the university structure into schools. In the mid-1970s there was another rapid rise in student numbers. Staff development, however, lagged far behind, resulting in inevitable restrictions on admission imposed either by the central government or by the university. Regardless of the staff's heavy workload, the TH Darmstadt managed to set the course for the future, as evidenced by the School of Information Science, established in 1974, the Zentrum für Interdisziplinäre Technik Forschung, ZIT, founded in 1987, and the School of Material Science, established in 1989. This school, which offers a new course of studies has been housed in a new building on the Lichwiese since 1996. Renaming by the end of the 20th century, the TH Darmstadt had had the legal status of a university, and had been offering a correspondingly wide range of subjects, for over a hundred years. For these reasons, and also with the objective of sharpening public awareness of the university's status at home and abroad, 
the TH Darmstadt was renamed Technische Universität Stadt Darmstadt on 1 October 1997. This name change was partly prompted by misunderstandings that had occurred in English-speaking countries, where Technische Hochschule had often been mistakenly transliterated as technical high school, providing a totally misleading connotation. Autonomy and TUD law On 1 January 2005 the first version of the TUD law applied making to Darmstadt the first public German university to be given administrative autonomy. New administrative structures were put into place, and their success is being evaluated. For instance, the university can now autonomously administer its budget and buildings. Also, the university can hire professors and negotiate their salaries by itself. Formerly this was done by the state of Hessen. The TUD law in its current state has legal force up to 31. December 2014. Academic Profile The close cooperation between science and economy is an indispensable prerequisite for success. For that reason students are encouraged to learn how to put scientific ideas and principles into effect and to demonstrate in their essays and dissertations how to tackle, analyze and solve problems, e.g., in the areas of industrial processes and practices. Research projects at the university are initiated and financed to a large extent by industrial and commercial concerns. Moreover, the university's successful collaboration with local companies is also based on a twofold strategy. The appointment of distinguished scientists and engineers to the post of professor at the university and the university's commitment to management, development in companies. The university offers a wide range of subjects, not only in the traditional fields of natural and engineering sciences, but also in those of social and human sciences, which was one of the main reasons for renaming the TH Darmstadt Technische Universität Darmstadt in the autumn of 1997. The subjects of these major areas of human knowledge add to the teacher training for the teaching profession both at secondary schools and vocational schools and furthermore, make industrial engineering as taught in Darmstadt an attractive course of study. The creation of new degree courses leading to bachelor's and master's degrees is also based on these academic standards and follows the European standardization of academic education. Faculties and courses of study There are 13 departments and 5 fields of study, which all together offer about 100 courses of studies. The fields of study offer interdisciplinary degree courses in which students take lectures in multiple departments. The university, as its title suggests, offers degree courses in the fields of electrical, mechanical and civil engineering, architecture, computer science, mathematics and the natural sciences. It also offers courses in economics, law, history, politics, sociology, psychology, sports science and linguistics. It also offers degree courses for teaching positions at German vocational schools and gymnasiums. However, there are no degree courses offered in medicine, the departments, architecture, civil engineering and geodesy, biology, chemistry, electrical engineering and information technology, history and social sciences, human sciences, computer science, mechanical engineering, materials and earth sciences, mathematics, physics, law and economics, fields of study, computational engineering, energy science and engineering, information systems engineering, mechanics, mechatronics, Research The principle of the indivisibility of teaching and research is common to all German universities. Mention must be made, however, that research at the two Darmstadt has had a long and particularly successful tradition to date. Thus research is being carried out at more than 200 institutes as well as at the Zentrum für Wissenschaftliches Rechnen and DZWR, where the focus is on interdisciplinary work, and at the Zentrum für Interdisziplinäre Technik Forschung, ZIT. Moreover, at the two Darmstadt there are several Sonderforschungsbereiche, SFB as well as several graduate Heng colleagues.
all of whom profit from financial support and expert advice provided by the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft DFG. In the mathematics department, the theory of formal concept analysis has been developed with an extensive ongoing program and annual conferences. The scientific infrastructure provided by the university has attracted a considerable number of national and international research institutions to the Wissenschaftsstadt Darmstadt, who on the part collaborate with the two Darmstadt on many projects. Among them are, for example, the Deutsche Kunststoff Institute, DKI, the Technologies and from Darmstadt, TZD of the Deutsche Telekom, the Gesellschaft für Schwerin und Forschung, GSI at Wixhausen, the Fraunhofer Institute for Secure Information Technology SIT the European Space Operations Centre, ESOC, the European Organisation for Meteorological Satellites, EUMETSAT, and the Fraunhofer Institute for Structural Durability and the Fraunhofer Institute for Computer Graphics. The collaboration with the university ranges from joint research projects to bearing joint responsibility for decisions taken at managerial level of the scientific institutions. To Darmstadt is involved in the German Excellence Initiative. This initiative sponsored the cluster of excellence smart interfaces. The Graduate School of Computational Engineering and the Graduate School of Excellence Energy Science and Engineering. To Darmstadt is also partially involved with the Cluster of Excellence Normative Orders, based at Goethe University Frankfurt. Research profile in July 2010, To Darmstadt defined five research clusters which characterize its research profile. Together with the research foci they are supposed to emphasize the research activities at To Darmstadt. Currently there are five research clusters. Smart interfaces, thermofluids and combustion engineering, new materials, matter and radiation science, integrated product and production technology, future internet, current research folk IR, computational engineering, urban research, adaptronic, international life with 17,4%. The percentage of foreign students at the two Darmstadt is clearly higher than the average of German universities of 11-14%, though at times, especially early in its history, almost a quarter of its students were foreigners, especially from Eastern Europe. Scientific cooperation on a contractual base is maintained with more than 65 partner universities all over the world. The university all also offers the Joint Master Programme, International Cooperation and Urban Development, as part of the Joint Master Courses and Doctorates, part of the Erasmus Mundus Programme of the European Commission. The European Credit Transfer System ECTS has been introduced for almost all courses of study. The student group AEGEE Darmstadt EV, formerly IDEA and part of the European Student Organization AEGEE, provides a program for all incoming international students of the university. Activities like hiking, climbing and ways to learn the language are organized by this group. Knowledge transfer in order to put innovative ideas and research results more quickly into effect the innovations Gieselschaft Darmstadt MBH was founded. The founder members involved in drawing up the project of a technology and innovation Cisentrum, TIZ, which was completed in spring 1999, consist of the two Darmstadt, the city of Darmstadt, the Darmstadt Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the administrative district of Darmstadt Dieburg, the Sparkasse Darmstadt and the Sparkasse Dieburg, the Fachhochschule Darmstadt, and the Zentrum für Grafische Datenverarbeitung. ZGDV. The center's infrastructure enables young entrepreneurs to rent business premises and to benefit from a consultancy service not only in matters of introducing new technologies but also in matters of accountancy and law at prices that are within their means. In the meantime a number of young scientists Former students and researchers at the two Darmstadt who have made up their mind to become independent businessmen, use the TIZ in Darmstadt as their base.
offering this form of knowledge and technology transfer. The university contributes to the economic development of Southern Hesse.